we, we, we should introduce here. So look at that, there's a capacitance between B and A and also between B and infinity. So you, you better take superposition principle, like B and A one, there's one capacitance. So how do, how do you can say that? So we'll do one thing, uh, like if I give charge to this, will there be any charge deposited as it will be? So the <coughs> equivalent circuit, the equivalent circuit will come like this. This is the negative terminal. No? Between B and A, the, this gap. Next again, from between B and infinity. B and infinity, this is. I'll put like this. This will be much easier for you. Again, where the infinity, what is the potential of it will also be zero. Okay, got this. So now, now, now what is the this capacitance CAB? This is CB infinity. How to calculate CAB? How to calculate CAB means I should give a charge. I should give a charge to a system. So I'll, I'll give a charge here. So here plus Q minus Q. So you assume that potential difference across these two. And this is the basic thing. So once you get this out to calculate potential difference, it'll be easy for you. So this is A, this is B. And now if I give a charge, <coughs> anything that will be plus Q, minus Q, then let me, and let this be plus Q. I'll give a charge to plus Q this one. So it will induce a charge minus Q in plus Q. Or, or you do one thing, if you're finding difficult, just connect a cell. connect a cell from to this. So what it does, the flow of charge you have to trace it. Uh, this is very important. You are supposed to analyze everything through this method. So there'll be uh, what will happen, the positive charge will leave this. This positive charge will go and deposit here. Okay, so this one, the positive charge will go and deposit. It will induce charge minus Q. The, what all the positive charge is there, that will come out like this. The charge must be conserved. Okay, let's do one thing. So we'll give the name for them. This was A, no? Looking at the diagram, find out potential AB. You come, we'll come to the problem later on. This is the, separately I'm analyzing it. What is potential VA? Go back to the electrostatics. Potential of shell A should be KQA minus KQ by B. Potential of shell B. KQA, oh sorry, KQB minus KQB. Potential difference VAB. What should be the potential difference VAB? I think th this will become zero. So this will be KQ. AQ, B minus A by AB. This is the potential difference between B, A, B. Okay, let's find out <coughs> the capacitance C, A, B. So what is the basic formula? B, A, B equal to, are, are you seeing the capacitance definition? What capacitance definition says? What the definition of capacitance is? I think I'll bring it everything. I'll shift it to another page. That's it. We'll discuss things separately. It'll be easy for you. Hmm. 
come from this. So V A B that one. So is it a, are you seeing parallel plate? Are you seeing the idea of parallel plate plus Q minus Q? And this is cell. So this is what we say. No. So what is V A B from the formula? So substitute that formula from here. It should be equal to K Q B minus A A B equal to Q by C A B. So what is C A B is equal to no? A B by K into B minus K is one by four pi epsilon naught. So therefore, this will be the formula: four pi epsilon naught A B by B minus A. So whenever two shells are there, no concentric shells, that one. So what is the capacitance between them? Just equal to this much here. This is the background. This is the initial. It's very important. This is everywhere. I'll be using this concept only. Between two consecutive shells, what is the capacitance given by this particular formula? Sir, I'll I'll vary the applied EMF. Then I think you know capacitance depends on physical parameters. No physical parameters of the system, not on the applied EMF. No, this is a basic core idea, which is thing that one. So let's come to the thing here. No, so here. Uh, what I did, there's a capacitance between B and A. See now, now you can do one thing, sir. I'll connect. I'll change the polarity. Instead of connecting positive terminal to the sphere A, I'll connect positive terminal to the shell. Things are same still. No, things are same. Doesn't matter. So therefore, what is CAB? Shall I write from this formula? And what is B? That one. This should be like it's an isolated sphere. So there are two capacitors are there, no? So and how they are? We are calculating what the capacitance between A B that one across these two terminals. So shall I say they are parallel? The effective capacitance. So the capacitance of the system will be C A B plus C B infinity. What is C A B? Four pi epsilon naught A B by B minus A. What is this? Will be four pi epsilon naught B. <coughs> Got the idea? Uh, air condition B greater than A. Uh, so why you are writing plus? Uh, because how they are parallel? No? So I'm measuring C A B. I'm measuring across C A B. 